So today's job is we, uh, we're changing the old lead water main, which is that pipe there, which runs through. Um, we're changing that, and it's gonna be to a 25 mil alkathene plastic pipe uh, from the water main outside. So, um, we may be lucky, because as we were looking at the box outside, um, it seemed as though it's actually been jointed um, by the water board. So what I've got to do is, I've got to follow that pipe and find out where it goes. I believe that the pipe goes to the front and out of the bay. And once it gets out of the bay, um, I believe it goes, you can't see it here, but I believe it goes there. So we've got a dig to do here to expose the lead pipe outside. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and that, uh, that then will tell me whether it's been jointed or not. So, first job is to trace this lead pipe. There's our water main. And uh, it runs outside of the bay. Now, you can't see this properly, but that's the corner of the bay window. And that pipe runs down and through the bay window. Now from the side of the house, we are one, two bricks across. So I know to start digging two bricks from the bay window. And if you look here, you can see the main just runs all the way through, through this supporting wall and then through the floor. So, slight setback, um, as I've cleared all the brush, because there's quite a lot that was in the way played all that, but we have a bit of a tarmac, you can't see it really, but we've got a bit of a tarmac edging around here. Um, I actually thought that it went all the way to the wall, the dirt, but it doesn't. So, I have to get the breaker out and uh, just break out a bit of this line here and uh, see what we've got. See if we've got some uh, dirt underneath that's diggable, should be, because there's a water main under it, so. So what we found is that, that there is our soil bed and we've got what looks like a brick stroke concrete slab. You can see that there. We've got to get through that. It's not what we wanted, but it is what it is. So the next time you see this, I'm hoping I'll have exposed that pipe. Okay. I'm not hoping. So, I couldn't find anything. Can't seem to get that. Right, this is the water uh, tap, the stop tap outside, the external tap. Over there, let's have a look at that. We've dug down quite a distance. So, we've dug down quite a distance and I found a nine inch salt glaze in that. It's actually plastic, not salt glaze. And uh, I thought the lead would have been in there. Boy, it turns out it's not in there. And I'm struggling because uh, without starting to excavate a lot more of this, um, I'm gonna struggle. And I don't want to excavate more than I need to. So take it back to the source, which is over here. And what I found is, which you're gonna have to find anyway, what I found on the, one sec, on this side, we've got the blue alkathene, which I believe to be the main coming in to the building. So I believe that that is coming from the street because on this side, we can see we've got another blue alka thing coming out and that goes down but it goes down into another blue alka thing now, I thought that might have been on a lead lock but it's not now the problem is I don't know I mean it, it, it might seem obvious that obviously that's the road so you would have thought that this alka thing pipe here was the one coming in off the street yeah that's what I'm thinking 99% certain however I can't just undo it because I'm not allowed to do that. What I need to do is make sure 100% that the that this one here 
is the one that goes into the house. Now this one goes down, which is fine. All it means is I'm just gonna have to dig out quite a bit more. Now that's fine, I'm happy to do that because I've got to dig a trench anyway. So let's do a bit of a time lapse so you can see it. But we're gonna dig this out and we're gonna find out what the crack is and where that pipe's going and hopefully we'll get to lead, trace it back to the house. By that point, I'll have a 750 deep trench, which I can run my new Alcathene pipe in, get rid of that lead, and then chops are good and there we go. Right, so we have dug our hole and uh, it was a big one, big hole. So what we found is, is that it was slightly off to the right from where I was. But anyway, we've got it and we're through. So that's great now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change this over now to blue alkaline. MDP pipe which is 25 mil and as you can see whoever's put this one in last they're just taking this off but we can take that away now so this comes away but this this socket actually which there's actually nothing wrong with it but this socket itself whoever's put this on they haven't used a liner so uh, a bit naughty really because in the pipe I mean we'll have a look at this one now so you just have to bear with me just unscrew that but there should be a little white liner in this and that's so that it uh, stops any crushing or compression and um, let's see if there's a little white liner in it and no there isn't so that's naughty whoever's done that um poor but it just means that i can get some fittings and that there is uh, mdp 25 mil to um lead so that's quite a handy one to have on you anyway what we're going to do is we're going to put on now the socket with a liner that's your liner so your liner goes in there like so and that stops any crushing from happening so now i know that we've got our liner in, and then we're going to put our 25 mil mdp pipe onto there uh, the socket and then we're going to run our new pipe take the old one out new one goes in get rid of all that lead so here we go so far we've got our uh, sort of first fix of the um the water main that's gone in as you can see we've got the four inch ducting that goes through the wall that's just to stop any crushing of the pipe um we've got to sand blind it underneath now we need to remove the old one as well so that comes back up to the main um, so I have to excuse the mess, but uh, it's been a hard work and this job. So we've got a 25 mil MDP pipe coming into a 15 mil reducer. Goes into copper. Now, this is all first fix. Okay, so this actually won't be staying anything like this. First of all, this pipe needs insulating, needs securing properly to the joists and then securing and insulating underneath the house. This needs insulating and then obviously this, this is temporary so that we can just get some water on for the lads so that they can start uh, well continue with the dry lining and plastering but um, obviously there'll be a drain off valve and a check check valve for the uh, stop tap as well but the process uh, I want to go through now is just the test so obviously all this is now an active line so this actually has water in it it's live um, we, we always make sure we double check it, make sure that there's no leaks or anything like that. Um, for the time being, we've got just some temporary fixtures and fittings on, but still have to make sure that there's no leaks or anything like that over the weekend. We turn the tap on. So we've got full movement on the tap, and I'm hoping that when I open this, we're gonna have water. And there we go. So we have water. So we're turning the tap off now, making sure for over the weekend 
and what have you. Now we have no leaks or anything like that. I'm going to turn it off from the outside as well because it's easy to turn off from the outside. But successful day.